as the soft diplomacy of royalty replaced hard political talks of earlier in the day, the world's longest-serving monarch put nervous guests at their ease with a gentle quip. While presidents and prime ministers took their seats and posed stiffly for the camera, she asked, Are you supposed to be looking as if you're enjoying yourself? The leaders around the Queen laughed and Boris Johnson replied emphatically, Yes. The PM, who was hosting the summit in Cornwall, added, We have been enjoying ourselves, in spite of appearances. German Chancellor Angela Merkel walked over to the 95-year-old Queen and passed on her appreciation for her posing for the photo, saying, Thank you for doing that for us. Her Majesty led three generations of the royal family hosting the event at the Eden Project, near St. Austell. The ecological visitor attraction contains the world's largest indoor rainforest. Appropriately enough for a summit focusing on efforts to combat climate change, the Queen traveled to Cornwall yesterday with Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke of Cambridge on the Royal Train, which runs on environmentally friendly biofuel. They were joined at the open-air reception by the Duchess of Cambridge who had earlier flown by helicopter to meet U.S. First Lady Jill Biden at a school near Hale. Aides said she had been unable to take the greener travel option because of the timing of the engagement. Kate, 39, last night wore a £3,000 mid-length cream Alexander McQueen gown, while Camilla sported a long-sleeve black and white dress. The Queen chose an appropriate horticultural theme for the venue, wearing a dress patterned with flowers. After the 40-minute reception, they moved for the socially distanced photo. Prince William, 38, and Kate were taking part in their first G7 events, another milestone in their progression as senior royals. The monarchy does not wield real power but uses its influence, soft diplomacy, to help promote British values. The G7 leaders including Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and US President Joe Biden were seen chatting to the royals. Before the Queen arrived, many of the politicians walked through the flora and fauna at the Eden Project to the reception while Mr. Johnson and his wife Carrie waited to greet the royal party. The Queen walked just ahead of Charles and Camilla, followed a few paces behind by William and Kate. Last to arrive after the royals were Joe Biden and his wife Jill. The Queen met him as U.S. President for the first time. He is the 13th American leader she has known during her record-breaking 69-year reign. Mrs. Biden had said earlier, Joe and I are both looking forward to meeting the Queen. That's an exciting part of the visit. They will have tea with her at Windsor tomorrow. The Queen also prompted laughter when she insisted on borrowing a ceremonial sword to cut a cake at another engagement at the project. She had been handed it at the Big Launch Uniting Neighbors event and when told by an aide there was a conventional knife available, said, I know there is, this is more unusual. Prince Charles last night urged the most prosperous nations to tackle the climate emergency with the same urgency they used for COVID. Hosting the first meeting between government heads and leaders of the biggest companies at a G7 summit, he called for unprecedented cooperation between public and private sectors to create a greener future.